This is the Affordable Art Fair, where this year they're celebrating their 25th year anniversary. This year we have 113 galleries from around the world and within the UK on display to everybody in London. The Art Fair is based in Battersea, let's go and explore. We're here this evening at the Affordable Art Fair talking to Richard Williamson. Mate, these artworks are absolutely incredible. You represent the gallery showing these golden artworks that are all cast. Can you tell us what it's like presenting here at the Affordable Art Fair? Uh, well, it's a great range of people and collectors who come in from all uh, um, collector experiences. Uh, the theme for my stand is Precious Magic. Every piece here has some level of gold or precious metal in it. Uh, and I just think that there's something really magical about gold that for hundreds of years, kings, like it's changed the course of history, the way that we've celebrated the use of gold from Byzantine portraits to, uh, uh, you know, the Egyptians and arguably the start of art itself. And so I'm trying to carry on that baton. Absolutely, that's a great message, especially the theme of gold at what is classed as the affordable art fair, making artworks available to people like as an art student, I'm looking around at things I might be able to afford, but these really class in such a great presented way. You're doing a fantastic job and thank you for having a quick chat with us this evening. Cheers. Thank you. The affordable art fair hosts artworks ranging between £50 to £7,500. The artworks in this section are each artworks by upcoming artists, each one under £1,000, available to every single person coming to the art fair at Battersea. This seems like quite a familiar sight. We got to see this artwork, Oranges and Lemons, by Tobias at the London Art Fair the other month. It's such an amazing thing to see artworks and artists returning to other art fairs to present their incredible artworks to more and more people. I'm so looking forward to seeing where this artist goes in the future. We actually have a professional to talk to us about this incredible artwork. Yasmin, talk us through what Oranges and Lemons is and what it stands for, please. So Tobias Till, fantastic printmaker, um, has released this brand new print, released in January a couple of months ago. Um, so entitled Oranges and Lemons. So Oranges and Lemons is, it's the history of London. It's something a little bit sweet, something a little bit sour, hence the Oranges and Lemons sort of dynamic. Um, it's hundreds of years worth of history, very satirical, very playful, layer upon layer upon layer. And I mean, you've got real intricacy in here. There's such a, a level of narration and story going from anything from the original reason why Vauxhall is called Vauxhall to you've got the Queen jumping out the plane in the 2012 Olympics. I mean, you've got a little bit of everything in here and it's a, it's a really detailed and, and really beautiful piece. It really is. How does it feel to present artwork like this at the Affordable Art Fair? I mean, fantastic. We've been working with Tobias for, for years. He's a wonderful printmaker. And to, to present something that is so detailed and historical and, you know, there's a really something for everyone. It's one of those pieces that grows on you, builds on you. Every time you look at it, you see something new, something different. Um, and that's really that something is really beautiful to, to show and, and share with people. Absolutely, that's such a great message. Thank you so much for having a quick chat with us and we look forward to seeing more of this artwork in the future. Thank you so much. No worries, thank you. These artworks here are by an artist called Lars Tenebo. The artworks are called Animals in Unusual Situations. It's so fun to see artworks here with a comical release and a sense of humor. Artworks like these displayed at fairs like this that are rather prestigious. It's so great to see that people still have that sense of grounding and the sense of humor within their artworks to be displayed to people coming to art fairs like this that are so high-end yet also are still so affordable to people just like me. Artworks like the one behind me displayed at the Affordable Art Fair are always so fascinating to see because they are displayed in such a unique and interesting way. Artworks like this from a distance look rather abstract but as you get closer you begin to see that there's a small lighthouse which makes you suddenly realize that this could actually be a realistic depiction of the globe and of the earth. We suddenly realize that up the top bit, there are planes, which give us an over top view perspective of the artwork. To see works that look abstract from such a distance, you suddenly realize that they could be realistic, really warps our perspective on what artwork actually means, especially in affairs like this. As you can see by the crowd behind me, it's incredibly amazing to see so many people attending the Affordable Art Fair. It has been conceived that people are starting to not attend art fairs as much or as frequently in this current day and age because of the way the art world is going. 
Seeing all of these people attend an art fair like this is so incredible to see. Each one of these people here behind me are here to see artworks by contemporary artists and more traditional artworks. All of the artworks here are available at an affordable rate, hence the name The Affordable Art Fair. I'm so happy to see all of these faces and seeing the massive amount of crowds, however hard it may be to film with all these people around, it's so incredible and I love every second of this. When you have 113 galleries presenting at a fair like this, it is extraordinarily hard to merge those all together and for each gallery to create its own theme that is represented by the artist and the gallery. Galleries like this that create a theme based around the artwork, such as this, creating a polygon human figure, do such a great job, mostly based on color representation. To achieve that in such a diverse field and fair such as this is a true triumph for the galleries themselves and for the art fair to feel like each individual moving to the galleries feels like they're entering an entirely new atmosphere. It's such a pleasure to see and I'm so happy to see all of these artworks. To see oil paintings presented here at a fair like this in a contemporary world is so incredible because they really mean a lot to me because I'm an oil painter myself. Both of these were painted by an artist called Gerald Angelvan. Halfway through doing his degree in chemical engineering, his father turned around to him and said, you should be an artist. He then quit his degree and has since been a professional painter since 1998. He has seven children, one son and six daughters. These two paintings behind me are both paintings of his daughters. They truly create a sense of atmosphere with their incredible backgrounds. Nobody quite understands how he creates these incredible backgrounds. There's something to mesmerize at and absolutely get lost in. I'm so excited to see traditional works like this at a fair such as this one. I can't wait to see more like this. From traditional oil painting to abstract contemporary artworks, to see social media trend artworks displayed at an art fair in London, such as these, you might recognize artworks like this being such a huge trend on social media at the moment, especially on Instagram. Creating a blurry effect and a pixelated effect for famous artworks depicted in acrylic is such an amazing thing to see on how social media has influenced the artworks that are actually displayed to people in a contemporary art setting, such as the Affordable Art Fair. These two works behind me are created in acrylic and each paint pot is an individual color used to create that abstract feeling. As you begin to present yourself closer to these artworks, they become more and more pixelated, creating a more abstract scene for yourself. As you step further away, they become less pixelated and you're able to see the more of what they're trying to show, as you can see the two famous paintings behind me. Girl with the Pearl Earring by Jonas Vermeer and the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Such an amazing thing to see these artworks. Let's go see what more we have. We're here at the Affordable Art Fair talking to Jojo. Jojo, you've created all of these works that are presented behind me and I am in absolute awe over this one because you have an old pocket watch mechanism strut between the teeth of this wooden skull. Can you talk us through these artworks that you're presenting here at the Affordable Art Fair, please? Yeah, this one um, called Catching Dreams. It symbolizes that you shouldn't wait too long. You should catch the dream, take, bring it to yourself and because the time is ticking and that represents the, the block work over there. Yeah. That is so cool. What's it like presenting your artwork at the Affordable Art Fair? It's a great opportunity to meet um, other people, galleries and um, even artists. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. How did you get into creating these works specifically in comparison to paintings as an artist yourself? Um, my dad, he's a master craftsman and he taught me everything. My mum, she's a great painter, so I actually got born into that. So, yeah. That is an absolutely incredible story. Where do you think your artworks are going to go in the future? Hopefully in big museums in the world. Love that. That's the dream to have. Thank you so much for taking the time to have a quick chat with us, and I wish you the best of luck for all of this. Thank you. This is Mariam. <laughs> Mariam is an iconic character. These are her stunning artworks behind us, and her herself is an artwork, aren't you, basically, with this amazing coat. Please introduce yourself. I am Mariam Sanjari Hoshemi. What sort of artworks do you actually do and what are you presenting here at the art fair? So here I have paintings and can I flash at you? You may indeed. Hold on. Oh, cool. 
That is true art. Thank you very much. This is part of my performance work and I like to you know, be playful and bring guys. That's great. So just as you're about to make a sale, you just walk up and be like, hi. And you know, I see that's a very good form of editing because if people don't like this or find it too much, they're not going to like my art. So. I love that. Well, it's a character. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you so much for having a quick chat and showing us that. That is so great. I love this. This is so lovely to meet you. Have a great evening. Lovely to meet you. We're talking with Craig Keenan and Shona here at the Affordable Art Fair. Craig, I've interviewed you before at the other art fair, I do believe, which we're also going to go and see tomorrow, which will be so much fun. But your artworks are here at the Affordable Art Fair. It's such a pleasure to run into you again and see your artworks on display. Represented by Art Friend, the gallery, and Shona, you represent Craig and his artworks. What is it like representing such an incredible artist at such an incredible art fair? It's the absolute dream. <laughs> I mean, just I, I basically bring him to every art fair I do. His work is incredible, it's exciting, it's affordable and it's accessible, so it's just... Well, here at the Affordable Art Fair, it's one of those biggest things with artworks priced between 50 to 700, sorry, 7,500 pounds. What is the art priced on these? Well, this one, which is an absolute beast, is 3,500. So it's, it's about a halfway range, that's all right then. But it's, it's got art glass in it and it's like a bespoke frame. So I feel like the artwork and the framing, obviously you've got to consider both. So it's obviously ready to hang. Um, but yeah, there's also, you know, the one behind you, which is more of the 2000 range. And then we also have like A2 prints and things like that though, a lot of them. That's incredible. And Craig, what is it like being represented by Art Friend here at the Affordable Art Fair? Yeah, it's good, mate. It's a pleasure. It's a dream. <laughs> Actually, a dream. Love that. It is, it is the dream. It's the dream. The other thing as well, talk us through about what your artworks are. Um, well, they're cyanotype prints or blueprints. It's how they used to make uh, sci uh, what's called blueprints back in the old days, how architects used to make blueprints. Um, so, photographic in nature, but uh, prints in, in, in nature. They're absolutely incredible artworks, and one day, maybe at the Affordable Art Fair, I may actually be able to afford one of these one day. Maybe not on a student budget, but we can get there. We have some smaller prints available at 75 pounds. Now this seems interesting. Do you want me to take this, this could be the student budget range. I like this. Actually, show us these ones, because the whole Affordable Art Fair thing is such an interesting thing that's actually displayed here, because Artworks that are within that price range of 50 to 7,500 pounds displayed on their website. To a lot of people, that might not be affordable, but for ones like these, they are more affordable. I think the good thing with Art Friend is we do have things for people on higher budgets, but also we have things that are super accessible. So from like 50 pounds to maybe not seven and a half grand, but you know, to a few thousand pounds. Um, but you know, this great Keenan piece is 120. And we do have some smaller pieces that are 75 pounds. Love that. I'm going to take a look through some of these. Also, the own art scheme. So if, if you can't afford something, even if it's 120, you know, that's maybe not very affordable, but you could pay it like 12 pounds a month over 10 months. That is absolutely incredible. They don't advertise that on the website. No, well, I haven't got it on the website yet, but <laughs> I've, I've grown a few road stickers around just in case, but I put it on the label. But yeah. That's so fantastic. We need to get the word out about that a little bit more. It's been such a pleasure having a chat with you and Craig, you as well. Thank you so much, and I wish you the best of luck for this evening and the rest of the art fair. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Cassie, it has once again been a pleasure to have you come along to us with us to the art fairs. What has this one been like compared to the London Art Fair that you came with us for last time? Honestly, it's been incredible. Once again, I'm absolutely astonished by the amount of different styles and different kinds of artwork, like mixed media, just like the most incredible different sizes I've seen from the smallest paintings to the most big scale, like overwhelming pieces. And it's been, it's been such a journey. It's been great and it's always so much fun having you tag along with us and actually have your perspective on seeing the art world from a designer's point of view. You know, you're an up and coming artist yourself in the design world. What is it like seeing affordable artworks at the Affordable Art Fair? It's so amazing seeing up and coming artists who are producing work which is actually affordable for your average person who can just purchase them because they come from £50. I've seen the most affordable and most incredible pieces at this gallery today.
It's been an absolute pleasure to have you tag come along with us again, and I hope to see you at the next one we do. Thank you. Thank you so much. This artwork that you see behind me it was created by Nadia Atura for celebrating the 25th year anniversary of the Affordable Art Fair and it's celebrating first year here at the Battersea Evolution Centre. It has been so incredible to see the amount of artworks presented here. I absolutely love this art fair. Seeing all of these works at such an affordable price, maybe not to me as an art student, but to see and have the opportunity to talk to so many incredible artists, especially as an up and coming artist myself, has been the absolute honour of a lifetime. Thank you so much to the Affordable Art Fair and all the artists, galleries and hosts here tonight. It's been an absolute honour and getting to see all of these incredible artworks too. I can't wait to come back next one and see what else they have to offer. Thank you.